Hello world. Um, so I have gotten uh, a lot of questions uh, on Facebook especially because of the pictures that were posted on Sunday and Monday of uh, my thumb. A lot of people are asking me what happened and why I have this nice little bandage and everything. So I figured I would just make a video and tell the story and everything. So, a little backstory. Uh, Friday, I cleaned my room. Uh, so, I picked everything up and I got all of my laundry done and I cleared off my shelves and stuff. And I don't actually have a dresser. I, it's actually like a set of shelves that are like boxes uh, that I just put my clothes in. While I had uh, cleaned my room, I had like reorganized stuff and been moving stuff around and shoving uh, clothes into this dresser thing because I found out I have like 59 t-shirts in my room which is kind of ridiculous uh, so I had to like shove a lot of clothes in here and it, it moved the dresser around a lot and on top of this dresser I have this long like I don't know five foot tall mirror that was just propped up, it was just sitting on top of the dresser. Sunday morning, I was, I got out of the shower and I got dressed for work and everything, and uh, I sat down on my bed to put my socks on, and I pulled the drawer of socks out, and it was full all the way to the brim, and I pulled the, so the drawer of socks out, and I went to put my socks on, and while I was doing this, I looked up, and I saw that the mirror that had been previously propped up on top of my dresser uh, was falling down on top of me. And I looked up just in time and I put my hand up to stop it. And it hit my hand and it just shattered and it fell all over me. And I was like really surprised that that actually happened. And I looked around and I was like really nervous about being cut or anything. And I looked all over and the last place I looked was my right hand. And I looked and it was just gushing blood. And now there's this nice big blood stain on my bed. Uh, which many people have told me that peroxide will get out. Um, so I ran into the bathroom and I was screaming like, oh my God, oh my God. And I, I had no clue. I didn't think anybody was home. Uh, so I thought I was by myself and I was going to have to find some way to stop the bleeding for long enough to be able to drive myself to the hospital. But uh, while I was screaming, my sister ran into the room and she asked what happened. And I was like, I'm bleeding a lot. And she was like, okay, let me go get dressed. And I was like, uh, I had my hand in the sink washing it off the whole time. Uh, and I was like, no, I need like a compact to stop the bleeding. And she was like, what? And I guess, truthfully, I should have said a compress. You know, and she just looked at me and I was like a towel or something to stop the bleeding. And she was like, oh, and she grabbed me a towel and I, I put it over my thumb and uh, she went and got dressed and we... We left, and she walked out the front door with the remote control in her hand, and we both stopped on the sidewalk, and she just looked at me, and she was like, what is going on? And she went and she put the remote in the mailbox, and then we drove to the hospital. And uh, this all happened at about 11.30, and I had to be to work at noon. So on the way there, I got to make a nice... While I'm, I'm holding this towel over my thumb that is bleeding, I got to make this nice phone call to work telling them that I was headed to the emergency room. So I wasn't probably going to make it into work that day. Uh, but we, we got to the hospital, and they, every, I, I, everybody that I've told about this has, been, has told me that I'm so lucky that I got into the emergency room right away and that I was only there for a couple of hours. Um, and I, I guess that's true, because I got in right away, and they, uh, took all my information, and, uh, there were a lot of bad jokes about superstitions with breaking mirrors and whatnot, and, uh, they got me right into a room, and a surgeon came in, and, uh, I had to get x-rays, 
But uh, while, and, and I came back and the surgeon took a look at it and he said, uh, his name was Bob, and he said that, uh, first of all, I didn't know when my last tetanus shot was, so I was going to have to get a tetanus shot, and I was like, great, I hate needles. Uh, and he's like, okay, well, you're also going to need a numbing shot right here in your thumb, and that's not going to be pleasant. And I was like, fantastic, I hate needles. Uh, so, we got the x-rays done, and I came back, and, uh, he was just talking, and he was preparing stuff, and we were getting ready for me to, I, I got my tetanus shot, and we were getting ready for me to, for him to stitch up my thumb, and he's just talking there, and I was making a lot of jokes, because I'm not the kind of person to take things too seriously, and, uh, I, I, I told him that I didn't like needles, and he was, I said, you know, being completely serious, I don't really like needles, I'm not a fan of them, and he was like, oh, that's okay, you don't have to watch, and I was like, ah, great. So, uh, we were, we were talking for probably five minutes, and just, I was making a lot of jokes and stuff, and he was, uh, playing along with it, he was a, he was a really funny guy, and, uh, he's just preparing this stuff, and he turns around to give me this numbing shot, and he has this syringe, and the needle on it is about that long, and I just looked at him, and I was like, uh, okay. And then he was like, nah, man, I'm just messing with you. And he, he pulls out, and he switches the needle out, and the needle was only about that long. But I was sitting in this chair, and he, he gets ready, and he's like, you're not somebody who faints, are you? And I was like, no, I've never fainted during a shot or anything like that. Uh, I just don't like the idea of a needle going into my skin. And he was like, okay. So I sat down and he's like, all right, we're just going to do this quick. And he goes one, two, three, and he puts the needle in. And I swear on my life, I have never, never had a shot hurt that bad. Uh, it felt like he was pouring liquid fire into my skin and it just did not stop, I swear. It went on for, like, six hours or something. I've, I've never had a shot hurt that bad. It was terrible. Uh, but he gets done with that shot, and, he, and uh, he's like, are you okay? And I kind of hunched over to, get, to catch my breath, and I was feeling sick to my stomach. And uh, he was like, do you need to lay down? And I was like, you know, like, being a man and everything. I was like, no, nah, I, I think I'll be okay. He's like, you're okay? And I, I said, yeah, I just didn't eat breakfast. And he's like, do you want me to get you a cracker? And I was like, that would be nice if I could eat crackers. <laughs> he's like, oh, right. I guess they, they made the smart choice. Uh, he had me stand up and then lay down. And I swear, I really wasn't afraid of anything this entire time except for when he told me that I needed to stand up so I could lay down because I was so terrified that I was going to stand straight up and then just fall because I felt that bad from the shot. And my sister told me that he put the shot in and immediately I turned white. You know, I, I started practicing my Casper impression. Uh, and after I laid down and started feeling better and they got me a pill for that... Uh, Bob, he goes, yeah, yeah, it's a good thing you laid down. I could tell you were really feeling it because you stopped making jokes. And I was like, well, I guess at least that's a good thing to have a, a like a, a gauge on that. You can tell when I'm actually having trouble when I stop joking around. But uh, in the end, I ended up with uh, three stitches in my thumb uh, right across the knuckle. So I get to wear this nice splint so that I don't... Uh, break the stitches. So I have this for the next uh, probably six or seven days. Uh, I'm still working, I'm still going to class, there's nothing wrong with me, I'm perfectly fine. Uh, it's just, it doesn't hurt at all, it's just more of an inconvenience. I guess all I'm trying to say here is that all of this happened because I cleaned my room. So if there's any moral to the story here, is don't clean your room because you will end up in the emergency room on a Sunday morning and you will miss work and you will have to wear a splint for seven to ten days. 
feel free to uh, leave all of your terrible, terrible stitch and thumb and emergency room needle jokes below. Uh, because I've heard them all and they're all terrible. Alright.